Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica and today I have the next installment, if you will, of the How Many Years series that I've been doing with Amanda and Paula. Um, this seems to have been very popular. I, I think people um, loved it and hated it all at the same time. Loved it because it gave them a tool to kind of average the amount of years of certain products that they have, but hated it because they had to face how many years of product that they have. This is not an exact science. Obviously, there's so many variables that we really can't account for. It really is just kind of a fun tool to, to get a basic average of how much your collection will last you or how long your collection will last you. Well, um, we did four categories. We did eyeshadow, lip products, blush and highlighter, and um, we really don't have access to do the equations further at this time. Um, I don't know if we will or not in the future, but we wanted to keep the series going a little bit. So um, what we did this month is we have what a year's worth of those products look like. Yes, that is what we have. We went into our own collections and we pulled what a year's worth of blush, a year's worth of highlighter, a year of eyeshadow, and a year of lip products. And we're going to show you from our own collections what a year looks like based on the equation and our own personal usage. Now, a year's worth of blush is going to look different for me than it does for Amanda and then it does for Paula because um, we use different amounts. Like, I know Paula doesn't always wear her makeup seven days a week, so obviously mine is going to be a little bit higher than hers. Um, I only wear one blush at a time and some people use a cream blush and a powder blush, so there are going to be variances there. So I'm going to tell you and show you what products and I'm going to show I'm going to tell you what my equation is for each of the products. I am going to start with the eyeshadow since that's how our series started. So let me pull up my spreadsheet for that one. And let's see, I have I have some eyeshadow here. I have my equation. I have updated my equation because I found myself actually using more eyeshadows in a given look. So I have adjusted based on that. I have that I wear my eyeshadow seven days a week and I usually use approximately six eyeshadows at a time. Sometimes I use less. There are times that I use more and um, I do multitask some of my eyeshadows. So, you know, there is that to be said as well. I, I tend to use, not always, but sometimes I'll use eyeshadow to do my brows. Okay. For seven days a week wearing eyeshadow six days, or seven days a week wearing six eyeshadows at a time, I'm going to show you here in front of me what a year's worth of eyeshadow would look like. What I'm about to show you according to the equation for my specific parameters is 1.01 years worth. So just a hair over a year. The first one is going to be this BH Cosmetics Bubs Beauty palette looks like this and this is based on if it was brand new which i've used a couple of shades in here sparingly and i accidentally put my fingernail in those two shades so this palette plus the nyx sex bomb palette as if it was brand new and not used slightly also this hema be a natural palette let me open that looks like that and if i can open it the elf little quad sorry about that mirror and still one more would be this urban decay midnight cowboy single or any single from urban decay so that's a lot of eyeshadow if i can hold them all up plus the single here that's a year in my world. That is what a year is according to my equation of seven days a week, six eyeshadows per day. So that's a lot. That is a lot. 
And let's move on. We did lips next. And I have my lip stuff right here. Let me pull it all out for you. All right, you ready for this? I have mine set at seven days a week and I reapply five times or I apply five times and I bump that up because um, I am finding myself putting on lip balm every single night before bed. I apply it first thing in the morning and I usually apply it after meals. So those are my five times. There are times when I apply it more. There are times when I apply it less, but that is the average for me is five times per day. So let's get started on this one. I have two full-size buxom lip glosses and I have three of the half-size buxom lip glosses. Yeah, that's a lot of lip gloss. All right, moving on, I have two lip liners from e.l.f. I have a small Makeup Forever lipstick, if I can open it up. It's just one of those deluxe sizes. I have a different deluxe size from Makeup Forever. This one's a little bit larger. I have the Deluxe Bare Minerals Moxie, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deluxe, a Buxom Big Healthy Lipstick, this Clinique Chubby Stick, and last but certainly not least, a lip balm. This is the Jack Black Lemon Lip Balm. And that's actually a pretty decent sized lip balm. So I can't hold all of this up, but it's it's a lot. It's a lot that's here. And, and I think I could probably finish that in a year, which is a little bit crazy. According to my calculations for seven days a week, five applications in a day, it is 1.004 years. So just like the smidgen over a year. So that's not too bad. I think I could totally do that. It doesn't... It looks like a lot when you show it, but um, if I was just exclusively working on those products, I totally think I could do that one. Moving on to blush, since that was the next one. This one looks like a lot to me, but according to the equation, it is not. So let's get on to the blush. I have, I have a lot here. Seven days a week, and I only wear one blush at a time. And let me see, the first one is this NARS Deluxe, NARS Orgasm. This was a birthday gift, I think. And um, so there's that one. There is the Tarte Amazonian Clay. This was also one of the birthday gifts from Ulta. Moving on, I have a Catrice Defining Blush. Looks like that. I have two of the Bare Minerals Loose Blushes. And I have the deluxe or half size of a blush there. So technically six blushes, but none of them are really full size except for the Catrice. And I mean, it's subjective because even though this is technically a full size product, it's not nearly as large as some of the other products that you might be able to get. So six blushes seems like an awful lot, but when you're talking about half or even quarter size blushes, then it's not really that much. It's all based on the volume. So with those six blushes, wearing them seven days a week, just one blush at a time, it is 1.0132 years. Oh, again, just over a year. And I probably could do that. It, it, I would definitely not be able to miss a day of makeup, but I could probably pull that one off. Now this next one seems absolutely crazy to me, but... Bear with me on this one. This is highlighters. And, and to me, it even seems crazy because of the packaging and because of the number of highlighters that I have here. That is for a year, seven days a week again, one highlighter at a time. I have more than you would think here. It's a little bit crazy. Let me pull this over here. The first one I have is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I think mine is in Champagne Pop. So it's just a little guy. And I also have the Tarte Amazonian Clay in Sparkler. Looks like that. Again, it's, it's a smaller size. But here's the kicker. I have three of the Bare Minerals Gossamer Highlighters. 
three of them and they look kind of big, don't they? So that's five highlighters and this comes to just below a year at 0.9531 years. So just under a year. I don't have a ton of highlighter, so that's why I couldn't get it, you know, closer, but um, just under a year. And that seems like a ton of highlighter, don't you think? I, I think it does, but um, based on the amount of volume in those five highlighters, this one right here from Milani, this is the Hermos Hermosa Rose Illuminating Face Powder that is for highlighting, bronzing, and blushing. I would use it as a highlighter. This one right here has more product in it than these five. More product in that one than these five. You heard that right. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. So I think the thing is here that um, looks can be deceiving. And just because there is a number attached to like there's five highlighters here and it seems like oh my god that's five highlighters no way she can finish five highlighters that that is 0.95 and change years where this one is 1.0937 years so significantly over that year mark for one highlighter where five is under a year uh, that just boggles the mind, doesn't it? It does for me anyway, but I think it just boils down to how much product is actually in each of these packagings because they are not all created the same. Like I have two Makeup Forever lipsticks and they're both deluxe lipsticks, but they don't have the same amount of product in them. This one has significantly less than this one. And it's just not always comparing apples to apples. And when some people look at this and they're like, well, I've never finished a blush and they only own full size or very large blushes. When I own very small blushes, you can't compare the two because yeah, I may finish two or three blushes in a year, but my blushes are small and your blushes are big. <laughs> so, um, it, it really does just come down to the amount of product in each of these. So I hope, um, I hope this is as interesting to you guys as it is to me because it's just, it's so cool to be able to look at your collection and there's, there's so much variety and um, it doesn't always have to be so cut and dry. It really doesn't because five highlighters equals less than one highlighter. I mean, mind blown here. Really, it is, it is blown. Um, I am curious to see what Amanda and Paula have come up from their collections. Um, come up with from their collections, if I could speak. Um, I, I'm curious because I know Paula doesn't wear makeup every single day and um, Amanda pretty much does as far as I'm aware, but her habits are different than mine. So I'm curious to see what each of their years looks like. And I'm curious if you guys are going to be doing this to see what a year looks like with your collection, because I'd be interested to see that. And I'm hoping to see some people post pictures of this on their Instagram pages so that we can get a real true visual of what it looks like. So if you are going to do that and pull a year's worth of eyeshadow, blush, highlighter, or lip products, let me know. Tag me on Instagram. It's jessicalee.3. And I would love to come look and see what your year looks like. I am going to have both Paula and Amanda listed down below in my description box. I'm also going to have their beautiful faces at the end of this video. So if you want to just click right on there and go check them out, you can do that. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until I see you on my next video, have a beautiful day.